in 2020 through our Diversity and Inclusion Council that's made up of extraordinary individuals in the organization, um, introduced employee resource groups for the first time. And these groups are uh, made up of employees at ACON who are focused on understanding and, and helping to enhance the experience of, of our employees who identify as people of color, Indigenous, women, uh, people who are differently abled, and members of the LGBTQ2 plus uh, groups. Last year, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the extraordinary work that our Akon University team has done in leading the development and rollout of several diversity uh, related e-learning. These have been really important and have complemented work that we've done before 2020, especially around Akon Women in the Trades. This program is dedicated to helping women uh, kickstart their careers and get hands-on training, mentorship, and real field experience with ACON um, and, and, I, and I don't mind mentioning that it also was so successful that it, it prompted us to, to launch a spin-off called the ACON Diversity in the Trades Program, which helps to increase participation of BIPOC individuals in construction. So we've been at it for a long time. I'd say, again, uh, at the foundation of our work in this space has been uh, ACON's effort to be a, a leader in creating meaningful and mutually beneficial uh, relationships with our Indigenous communities.